Hey there guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Fallout New Vegas with myself, Noxy1. We're still here in Old World Blues. Ooh, why is that red? I don't know why that's red. Anyway, last episode we found out from the think tank that we can now penetrate the Forbidden Zone. And the guy explained it kind of poorly, but he was like, um, you've got the... Let's have a look. You've got the Sonic Emitter. Which gets you through the force field, and then you've got the X2 antenna, which is like a signal booster, and then we've got the stealth suit to get in, so to sneak around him. I also did a bit of cleaning up in the sink, uh, got some more ammunition and all that good stuff. In fact, if we have a look at my weapons, yeah. Managed to put some more 50 caliber rounds together. And I got some more for this, the Cyberdog gun. Not a lot, though. Alright, let's go to the big MT. That's my chair creaking, by the way. Yeah, creaky chair. Oh, good God, what happened here? I'm going back indoors and preparing. <laughs> Why are there so many ro ro red scorpions or ro robot scorpions? Right. We haven't got the ammo to be using that, but we have got the ammo to be busting this out, so let's go. This gun is crap. Yeah, this gun's super crap. Hang on. I miss my companions. There we go. There you go. I could probably run out there with me uh twelve point seven. But at the same time. Ooh. That's a lot of ammo that I could just potentially throw away there. At least with this thing I've got. Oh hang on, you know what? Hang on. Oh, I'm a piercing. We need to be using the right rounds for the job. Otherwise, we're just going to waste ammo. And that is really not what we're about now. At this late stage in Old World Blues. That is not what we're about. Is that one still alive? Yeah, he bloody is, you know. I thought these armor piercing rounds would do a bit... Mm, they kind of are. Sort of. If I could change anything about the way that the enemy's health is displayed, it would be a single bar as opposed to two. Uh, you know, it's got like the health bar on the left and right. I might only just have it so it's one. Anyway, what am I rambling about? We need to get to the... Uh, oh, Right, so now that we're up against people, we can use our incendiary rounds. Like so. Uh, um, right. Now we're at the point where we can fast travel, which is nice. But at the same time, if we fast travel straight to the dome entrance, there's a good chance that we're uh, going to get swarmed by Robo Scorpion. So I'm going to go to the tunnel just east of it and uh, see what I can do lookout wise. Oh, yeah, I thought so. Right. Explosive rounds. Yeah, this sniper rifle is, uh... Pretty tactile. Okay. The scorpions look cool, but they're a weird colour, aren't they? Ooh. Oh, I bet you my uh, sniper rifle's taking tons of damage from this type of ammo as well. But I was right though, if I'd have just teleported straight there, I'd have been in so much shit. So much shit. There you go. It is like having a bullet fed grenade launcher. It's bloody lovely, mate.
Come on. I see ya. There you go, and I think there's one more as well. Yeah, I'm still in caution, so I reckon there's... Yep, there he is. I wonder where their weak spot is. I'm guessing it's their tail, isn't it? It's got to be. Yeah, maybe. They don't do me enough damage because of my enclave armour. Oh, my damage threshold is huge in this armour. Which is exactly the reason I didn't change to it. I didn't change to the stealth suit. Until I'm absolutely sure I need it. Now look, there are there are arrows over here. And I'm not... Uh, we're going to have to come back at the end of Old World Blues. Just to have a look and explore. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to turn the sink into my player housing after all this. I mean, I'll use the Lucky 38 as a follower's outpost. But beyond that, it probably won't get used for much. Well, maybe item storage and things like that. Right, items. Um, there's just one left. Have I got alternative ammo for this? No. Have I got alternative ammo for the 10 mil? Uh, yeah, we'll go for the HP rounds. I can't remember what they are. I'm guessing high penetration or something like that. This gun is crap! Totally crap. We're going to have to go for the 12.7 now. Oh, no. We can go for the sniper rifle. Okay, no worries. Where are they going? Get back here. Got work to do. Experience to gain. There they are. Oh, try harder. There you go. Sweet! Any more for any more? No? Alright. Oh, there's that level up! Oh my god, how good was that? I was like, oh, I've got to do this to get the level up. And then, boom, level up! Right, let's put some more into energy weapons. Uh, we don't really need unarmed or melee. I'm going to go four for melee and four for explosives. Done. Yeah, that's what I'm, ab oh, I'm all about that. I'm all about that. Alright, let's reload this. No? Okay. Alright. Open door to X-42 Robo Warfare Facility. <gasps> this is it, guys. You are kidding me, right? Look at the size of that bastard. How the hell am I going to do this? Is there a walkway around the other side? There kind of is. How am I going to do this? That terminal over there seems to be open. What about you? What have you got in your... Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. The, f the little ones are hard enough. Right, purified, stim pack. I'll take the steady to sell it. Uh, what about the sonic emitter? I should have bought the pulse gun with me, shouldn't I? Crap. Um, it doesn't seem to be... Target drone effectiveness log... The constant improvements of the giant Robo-Scorpion has rendered the Protectron models we've been using as hostile communist forces largely ineffective at this stage. They're little more than distractions. Okay. The Saturnite armor plating on the giant Robo-Scorpion has exceeded expectations. Mostly while it's virtually impervious to small arms fire, the sonic emitter that Parsons brought in managed to fry... Yes! Okay, several of the prototype subsystems. We'll have to look into improved EMP shielding for the next prototype. On a more positive note, the prototype's new atomic laser is performing admirably. Some residual radi radiation is left behind after the weapon discharges. It may be necessary to re 
requisition more radiation suits and meds as a precaution. Well, look. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm hoping I encounter something that allows me to get rid of this guy easy. Uh, backup generator log. The new atomic laser is putting an incredible strain on the giant robot scorpion generator. Damn thing shuts down. Shut down right in the middle of weapons testing last week. I pushed for reducing the laser's output by 25%. Instead, they slapped a backup generator onto the scorpion. Dangerous if you ask me. The systems weren't designed to handle the power from two systems at once. And if some rookie tech fires up the backup generator too early, well, activate backup generator. I am absolutely sure, yes. Right. Go. Yep, that's me. Maybe we have to get over to the other side now as well. So we use the sneaky suit, I guess. Let's do this. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah. Welcome back. Oh, sunset says Barilla. I'm glad. I will check medics all this. Empty. Yeah, well, because Medex is rubbish. We're going to ignore all the loot in here for now. I bet no one has ever been as unnoticed as me. And let the protector. The protectrons are doing work, man. Oh, look, Red X. It was Medex she was after, though, wasn't it? Right, we want to get. Oh, you're kidding. Am I meant to go. Let's do this. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I bet you the uh, the terminal for startups on this side. So you had the generator over that side and you got the one to disable the... Whoa, I was expecting a walkthrough. There is no path or walkthrough here. There are turrets over that side. Is he dead? No, okay. Uh, I was expecting to find a console over here. There is no console. Ooh. Do I just walk over there? Oh. Glad I'm wearing my gravity boots. Jesus. That thing above him looks... Either that looks like it turns him on or it's a way to destroy him. If this generator plan that I've just hatched after reading that technician's logs doesn't come to fruition. That seems very dark around here as well for some reason. Right, leave the loot. The loot is secondary. You're currently basically fighting a boss. X-42 security turret. Okay, if we can get those activated as well, that will probably help us a lot. These look like the same things that were in that other room, that other generator. So, terminal. Turret control system. Excellent. Oh, I've got to hack this one, have I? Um, let's go for releases. And that's none. So, C-O-N-V-I-N-C-E... Yeah, boom. <laughs> oh, that's what it's about. Right, X-42 Robo Scorpion. Yes, do the thing. I'm so glad I haven't got to read logs and shit. And then how do I get to that one? Can I not just lean in through the window? Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, you don't, mate. I've got the turrets on my side now. You're going to get owned. Or not. I've really got to get the rest of this work done. Okay, um... Well, there's the stairs. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Emergency shutdown terminal. Is this for the scorpion? Oh, you are kidding me. Look at the amount of words in this one. Four out of twelve. Riku. No. Okay, never mind. We're not going to... We're not going to go for that one. We're going to try and get one of these other ones and see if this is the overload. Because I want to destroy it. I don't want to shut it down. I want to properly end its life. Bobby pin. Just the time. Is there nothing up here? What's all this? Scrap electronics. Right. No fighting, no fighting. What is this?
Okay. Right, let's go back up and see if we can... I wonder if we can release more security droids, but I suppose it wouldn't really do much. Pencil. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Audio sample, Mobius is Robo Scorpion. All the doctors here are crazy. Right. Oh. Look at the words, man. Laboratories. There's one out of 12. Okay. Um, I'm glad that the Robo Scorpion pauses to let me do this. Okay, if they're all going to be dud removes, then we probably should do that first. No, that one please. Allowance replenished. No, we want duds removed really, because otherwise we're not going to... Laboratories was the first one. L A B or A T O. Okay. Filtration. I N F L I T. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Well, there you go. Uh, emergency procedure, shut down procedure log. For instructions from the higher ups after that one time the Robo Scorpion's attack routine malfunctioned, we've installed an emergency shutdown procedure. Let's hope we never have to use it. The prototype system will all be fried and we won't be up and running again for weeks. The military is expecting delivery of a battle ready model within six months and the project has already had enough delays. Well. There you go. Confront Dr. Mobius at the Forbidden Zone Dome. I wonder what happens if I go back and put this uh, audio thing. It's still alive, isn't it? Oh no, he's friendly. You alright? How's it going? God, you're huge, bro. Look at this motherfucker. Okay, let's get to the Forbidden Zone. Ooh! Okay, these must have been where the Protectrons came out. Protectron... Search Protectron Target Drone. Okay. <gasps> Am I going to get my brain back? Oh yeah! See you later, robot. I'm off to go get my brain back. My brain... My spine and my... What was the other one? What did they take? They had my spine, my brain... Was it my stomach? It might have been my stomach. I can't remember. Oh. This looks like the think tank just like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is it telling me to go back that way? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What quest are we on? Find samples for the bot. No, 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 no. We'll do that later. We're here to confront Mobius. This is the, this basically just the think tank, isn't it? There he goes. That must be him. He hasn't detected me yet either. What's that thing up the top there? Is that a diagram of the think tank? Or the di a diagram of the big mountain? I'm going to go out there and have a little check. I want to I wanna explore. I want to get some information on this dude before I just straight up attack him. Because I assume there's no pacification field here. So Let's have a quick look around, see if we can't find something. Ooh, cigarettes. Nuka-Cola we don't want. 
Nope, Nuka Cola. Okay, I'm I'm after serious loot. I I want. I don't want things that are like carton of cigarettes. I want things that are like Doctor Mobius's journal and shit like that. Do you know what I mean? Oh, a four grand proton axe. I will take it. Um, I need to sneeze. So let me uh, let me see if the mute the mute function on this microphone works. There you go. If that worked, uh, then excellent. If it didn't work, then you're probably not hearing my voice right now. We shall see. I'll check back on that footage. I want to see what that thing there is. Open door. He is kind of... Oh my god, another LAER. Nice. Boom. MF cells. Not important. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mentats. Yeah. I bet this dude and Father Elijah would have got on a house on fire. I bet ya. I bet they'd have been best friends. Yeah, I'll we'll take the bottle cap. Bottle cap and sunsets. We'll take the sunsets, Asperilla. But really, what we are after is is the valuable loot. What is this thing? Brain tank. That's not my brain tank, is it? Is it? What's this? Psycho will take. Scientist scrubs. I think I've got a pair of them, but I'll take them anyway. Carton of cigarettes. Uh, carton of cigarettes. Carton of cigarettes. All about that accumulation of wealth. Or accumulation of caps. I'm, I'm not sure it can be classed as wealth. I'm just glad there aren't rooms downstairs as well. Free wall money. I could probably do this after talking to him. But then there's always the chance that I might not. So I want to I wanna make sure. Oh my god, look at all these mentats. They weigh a uh, fuck all and they are worth 20 caps each. What is... Why did Mobius have so many Mentats? This is why I think he'd have got on well with Father Elijah. Because they could have just sat in this room all day getting messed off their faces on Mentats. Although they give you headaches, don't they? If you if you eat too many. I think that's what Elijah was complaining about in uh, the Sierra Madre. He was like, I've eaten too many. They give me a headache. Which was funny. Okay. I think there's only a couple more rooms. Or oh, one more room. Yeah, one more room. And then we'll go confront him. Cap. I'm surprised he isn't surrounded by loads of things with personalities, considering that the sink was his old room. No. Some scrap metal I can turn into lead, but... Okay, yeah, let's let's go see this mad bastard. What am I rolling on? I want the sound wave gun. That's probably not too great. What we want is... Oh, this should have been the perfect opportunity for the Tommy gun. Hmm? Yo! Hello there. Uh, you are there, aren't you? Uh, forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. You seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? It's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Is that better? Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. <laughs> That's old age for you. Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. <laughs> Flying tortoises were the worst. 
Would you care for a mentat? Um. I'll save it for later. Mm, I love mentat. This Delicious and was sorting. not what I was expecting. I all sorts of amazingly science-horrific thoughts and ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my bio gel. I forget them all not long after, though. Especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations. Although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. You aren't exactly what I was going to say. This is not what I was expecting. You aren't exactly what I was expecting. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. Uh, why did you steal my brain? Oh, a variety of reasons. You're something of a homily. The uh, anomaly? Uh, you're really quite special, and not in the cranially challenged way. You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well... Your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. Uh, why is... I was curious about some things. Mobius, you got to answer me some things, okay? Oh, curiosity. I experience that less now that I know everything. Oh, maybe it was when I found out some unpleasant answers. Mm hmm I can't... Oh, I can repair him, can I? Okay. I can repair your monitor... I can't fix your monitor, but if you're getting ghost reception, I can fix that. The ghosts aren't real? That changes everything. Why, I can save my computer. I want to ask him that other question. Perceptual impossibilities. Please be my guest. Uh, the receptor is there. And the side switching wobbly bob, uh, just turn that. Good, good, better. Oh. Oh, yes, that feels wonderful. This is even better than my afternoon Mentats break. So, yeah, you don't seem aggressive. Why broadcast threats to the think tank? Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho oh, when I sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent, except when I am. Then, watch out! So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical lung. <laughs> As for the psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, served its purpose. I was curious about things. I find things curious as well. Go on. Can you tell me about your robo scorpions? Well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the desert, <laughs> like poisonous frosting. How scary, I thought. But they had survived when nothing else had. Perfect candidates for improvement, as a reward for their tenacity. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts, and acted as walking eyes, and data-drained computers, and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Then I thought about custard. I do so love custard. Or was it mustard? Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. 
Uh, right, sounds like you built the Robo Scorpions. Issued threats to keep the think tank occupied. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. Is some reason for it? Ethics or uh, mm, conscience? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the reasons better than I do. Everything you told me doesn't add up. Your plan, even your name, Mobius. Why doesn't his name add up? I'm torn between these two. Your plan, even your name, Mobius. Well, sounds like you forgot your master plan. Surprised you even remember your own name. I'm going to go for the top one. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name. And my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it <laughs> said. I believe it meant me. Uh -huh. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the think tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. You reprogram their names as part of the recursion loop. What? To trap their processors? Now, trap is a rather harsh word. Like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. But, yes, I did uh, take some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... A recursion loop is designed to prevent the flow of information, so... The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have Plan C's in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. Uh, probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here. Or as you like to say, trapped. I prefer to have several Plan B's in case the A's fail. Oh, I can use my intelligence. Nice. Klein, Mobius, zero, O's a circle, eight's an infinity symbol. They're all loops. I get it. Oh, you figured it out. No pun intended. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Ouroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, but the world, sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but... Sometimes they would take things too far. And the world isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. Heh. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so I should have seen this coming, really, because in red, right, this whole sort of section sort of been, been winking at Red Dwarf a little bit with the toaster that talks in the sink and this Ouroboros. I should have known because in one of the episodes, Lister works out that, spoilers, he is his own father by looking at the top of a supply crate with a snake eating its own tail. Uh, 
and it's the symbol for Ouroboros, and they were Ouroboros batteries, like extra long life batteries. So, uh, yeah, okay, I'm going to go for this one. Really? It is so unlikely to make an error in anything I do. If you lobotomize the think tank, why terrorize well, them? Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank for a reason. That I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up, then you came along. The final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria finally able to see its host. There were other visitors, though. Why am I different? There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions, but you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. Oh, no way. <laughs> the bullet that went into my brain, Doc Mitchell tried to patch me up, but... Uh, a cranial injury from the attack outside Good Springs. The only wrinkle is the one that bullet made going into my brain pan. Oh my god, do we do perception, medicine, or guns? Uh, I'm going to do perception. Yes, very good. I should have Mentats ingest you instead of the other way around. Mm, Mentats. In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a I cranial injury did in the right place, <laughs> bullets in the head are usually much more fatal, and yours was a light case of bullet headitis. But it was enough for the autodoc in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem, and the brain extraction technology for once worked. That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, sh couldn't possess. <laughs> That's an excellent With word. That knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. She couldn't. Uh... If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial cells into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. And once they're off the reservation... Wait, what's this? Intelligence 7, Klein said they had to, the idea to get the three technologies after your broadcast. Coincidence? I consider coincidence to be profanity, along with the words astrology, herbal tea, and luck. So watch it, potty mouth. My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. And along with the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally, Pardon my language. All those technologies are needed uh, to put the brain, uh, uh, your brain, back into its skull properly. Well, there you go. Everything's just come around full circle. Excellent. Uh, yeah, what is the purpose of the X2 antenna array? The X2 antenna can be used to focus your alpha wave frequency thought patterns. The sneaky suit? Why, it houses a cardiac regulator. My heart! It was my spine, my brain, and my heart. Mm, stomach. emitter was never intended as a weapon. It was a medicinal vertebrae pulse desensitizer. In short, brains, a heart, and courage. Spine. 
I think there was a story once where a band of murderous thugs sought these things. They had them all the time in the story. Didn't stop them from murdering to get them. And it won't stop the think tank either. Was there any other data transmitted in your threat broadcast? Yes. My overly aggressive Camda broadcast was designed to keep reinforcing the forget, fear, rinse, and repeat program. Oh, and the get me the things to castrate your only possible escape attempt. But I couldn't delete you or your arrival any more than I could the other visitors. Only so much science can do when you started talking to them. You're really quite difficult to ignore, you know. It's because you're, well, bah, rather intriguing, if you'll forgive an old brain for saying so. The Think Tank downloaded the schematics, not the items. They can rebuild them. Yeah, they can rebuild them, but I don't think they can use them. I think... Oh, that means my plan is a total failure. That is unfortunate. Oh, well, at least I tried. I was curious about some things. Yes, yes, this is getting interesting. You are just filled with these little slices I don't want to attack him. Aren't you? The only other thing is enough I'm here to kill you. And I can't back out of the... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, intriguing. I've never been killed before. Although, after that time I got that phlegmy discharge in my biogel, <laughs> I wished I had been. Well, if there's going to be killing, I defer to your expertise in this matter. How should we begin? Engineering viruses, cancerotic beams, atomics, electrocutioning? Or should I summon my minions? Yes, my minions. I'll trash them like I did your giant piece of junk downstairs. Oh, now you've done it. I feel a twinge of regret over that little mistake I left on. Minions, destroy this intruder! Hmm. Or perhaps make it more dramatic. Minions, to me! <laughs> <laughs> this is the Mobius I know. Oh yes, that's quite a bit better. Okay. This one looks pretty tough. Attacking with a capital G! Okay, look, I'm gonna just run up here. I didn't really want to kill him because he's obviously senile. There you go. Oh man, are you kidding me? The Robo Scorpions are still rocking. Okay, well. Uh, I didn't really want to kill him, but it didn't seem like I had much of a choice, so. And we're also gonna put my Remnant's Power Armor back on. Sorry, Stealth Suit. There you go. Okay. Did I do something wrong? No, just it, now is not the time. Hang on, where's that? Um, these rounds. These are the these are the ones I want. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> run away! Run away! Run away! Close the door. Oh my god! How thick am I? I just blew myself up. Well done, clever clogs. Um, right. I suppose we just go hand with the twelve seven now, eh? Where are they going? They're going off to the left. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna kill this front one and, and run. There you go. Right. Jump. Yeah. It's been a constant in the big mountain for a little while. The fact that the Robo Scorpions can't follow you over big things, so. I'm a big fan of that. Um, uh, it doesn't change the damage rating, and we've got some MF cells. I am going to try and use this LIER thing. Oh, crap. What was that? Hello, mate. This thing is rubbish. Oh, my good God. It works, though. There you go. Ooh, yeah, and they explode. I forgot about that. 
I think we're going to leave Big MT and I'm still not going to remember that these guys explode. The LAER is not too bad. I mean, I got my energy weapons perk up a bit higher now. Oh my god, this guy upstairs. Please stop. Klein, have you got any... Oh, Mobius even. Have you... Oh, Mentats, take them. Stealth boy. Yeah, look, I'll come back for the rest of that later. If this is the end of Old World Blues, no. This means that I can now finally go back and watch the end of uh, Far 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 Big Ben's playthrough. So, yeah, I'm probably going to go do that later today. Ooh! Ooh, back up, back up, back up. Don't let him explode in your face. There you go. Okay. Is that my brain over there? I didn't really want to kill Dr. Mobius' brain. Not that I need to explain anything to you. Get back in my brain. Or back in my head. There we go. Anti-material rifle. You must be my brain. Nothing in there. Oh, there it is. Hello. Alright, now how do we put it back in? Well, well. Look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been? Hmm? Crawling through pits of radioactive muck again? Hello, Stewie. <laughs> Why does my brain sound so masculine? Ah, well, as to that, you'd be surprised how hard a feminine-sounding voice modulator is to find in the Forbidden Zone. It's not as though brain-sustaining life support tanks grow on trees. I had to take what I could get. Okay. Are you my brain? Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? Hmm. <laughs> okay, how the hell did Mobius get a hold of my brain? After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. Dr. Mobius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. How did he manage that? I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. It seems like a pretty unlikely coincidence. Hardly. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on at the think tank. As soon as he saw the opportunity, he took it. Well, else is that onto something else? Well, as long as your curiosity is satisfied. This is too weird. I'll be back in. I'll be back later. Hang on. Unlikely event that I evolved some sort of rocket-propelled locomotion. I will be here. They've just provided me with all these mentats, haven't they? So. A Mentats do the uh, intelligence plus two. So what am I on now? Hang on. Intelligence ten. Okay, right. Let's do this. Ah, the meat has returned. Lovely. Are you my brain? Right, yes. There's no need to be sarcastic. Meeting your own brain is a slightly odd event. Yes, well, believe me, the opposite is equally true. Good Lord, have you bathed at all since they pulled me out of you? What about you? That tank ain't looking exactly springtime fresh. I... well... that's a completely different matter. The tank isn't biological. It's not the same at all. Why are you such a dick? Yeah, straight up, Brian. Why are you such a dick? Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me. A, uh, quote, dick, unquote. As if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus-infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? <laughs> uh, of course you're responsible, you're my brain! I most certainly am not! I am the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership! All those feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone, 
Do you know where those come from? Glands. They come from <laughs> glands. Free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system, I can see how foolish your motives are. Yeah, we're gonna medicine him. But you're the source of my of most of my of those glands, unless you're arguing that my thyroid is to blame. I Well look, it's all a very complex system of biofeedback and other things I wouldn't expect you to understand. Admit it, you're just as glandular as I am. Oh, alright. Perhaps I am, but at least I'm logical about it. When you want to be reunited, I thought you'd be happy to get back in my head. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not... What?! Sad. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. <laughs> but what about the good things? What about a cool breeze on your cheek? The smell of food? Love? Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat. Oozing hormones. Hmm. Isn't it just as true that you only feel this way because you're lacking those hormones? Hmm, I suppose you're right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? So we're at an impasse. You can't feel what I feel and I can't think the way you think. Yeah. Indeed, quite the conundrum. How do you suppose we resolve it? I think we have to trust each other and acknowledge that we aren't complete if we're separated. I suppose there might be some advantage to that, yes. There's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. So what do you say, Brian? Join me for some more world adventures? Well, I suppose you've convinced me well enough. I'll rejoin your body if that's your final decision. Unfortunately, before we get to that stage of the proceedings, we have a problem. Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. <laughs> then it's time to go make them share. Come on, brain, it's stomping time. Oh, lovely. Yes, yes we have. We've the mindless violence portion of the program. Tell me, what exactly are you... Planning. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give them a demonstration of the physics behind small, fast-moving chunks of lead. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do miss that lovely rat -a -tat boom a bit. It's just not the same without a body to feel the recoil. What's the next step, then? If the think tank won't hold up their bargain, we'll make them. Let's go. Right. Look out, think tank. This brain is coming out of its jar. I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the think tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the sink's auto dock can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. Your brain added, okay. Optional, what was that about using the auto dock? Qu quests. Optional, use the single auto dock to retrieve your original spine, original heart. Confront Dr. Clyde at the think tank and end your imprisonment at Big MT. Weird. Totally weird. I thought that because the brain, when it came out of my body, would have been an intelligence 8 because of the power armour, I assumed that if I was a higher intelligence than it, I'd have an easier time sort of talking it down. But, again, if my brain's in front of me, I'm not too sure how that works. Um, 
I am going to make it back to the think tank. And in fact, if we can, if we can complete this today, if we can get the brain back in my body and the ability to leave Old World Blues, then I'm going to try and do it all in one episode. So this might be a long one today. Lots of talking, lots of action. We had a boss fight. It was pretty cool, man. It's been a pretty cool episode. I've enjoyed this. Mentats are probably about to wear off. Can we get up here? There we go. Oh, I could have just walked up here, could I? Oh, well. Yeah, I'll come back through the uh, big MT and clear it all out once I know that I'm homebound. Because this is one of the only DLCs that you can come back to. So, we're going to do that. Um, let's go to the think tank. I'm going to save it quickly. It was kind of a shame that Dr. Mobius was like, Dr. Klein awaits. Make sure you're prepared to finish this once and for all. What? Well, there's only, there's only one way we can be fully prepared to take on Dr. Klein. And I think you all already know the answer to the question, how do we kill a Dr. Klein? Now, see, with my tummy gun! You heard. Right. I've been waiting for this. I'm gonna weaken him up with the, uh... With the 12.7, and then go ham on his face with the .45. And you know what, Sink, you can help me here, pal. Even though I've only got 18 rounds I left. Service, yeah, I need my equipment repaired. You gotta repair my 12.7. Yeah. How much is that? 4,811! Oh. And then over here, what we want to do is we want to take the lead and all this other stuff. Because I can never remember what's what. And then we want to make... want to break down some 10 mil rounds and make some 12.7 rounds. How many 12.7 rounds have I got left? 12.7? Oh, I need casings. That sucks. Yeah, no, okay. Oh, well. Pardon me. No, 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 no. I got hiccups. It's not good. Right. We have got barely any ammo in this, which kind of sucks. Sink, have you got... I'd like to buy some 12.7 rounds, if you've got them. I sold the second one of them, I'm pretty sure. I sold, because I got two of them, and I... So... Aid, miscellaneous... No 12.7 casings. .45 auto? Give me now. Is there any choice? Oh, yeah! Okay, so it's restocked a little bit. Nice. Has he got any... Yeah, there's 0.45 auto casings. No 12.7 though, which is a bit of a shame. Alright, let's sell him some stuff as well, shall we? Um, 53 packets of Mentats. All this Psycho, purified water. I'm going to take the Stealth Boys with me. I'll get rid of that rad away. Rad X. All them cartons of cigarettes. I'll get rid of these microfusion cells, small energy cells, pack of cigarettes. Pre war money. 357.45. Okay, accept. There you go. Huh. And we got rounds. Okay. You require some additional services? Mm, I'd like to engage your services. Right, yeah, come on. Uh, basic physical exam. You are now completely healthy. Okay, let's do this. I don't really want my spine and 
other one back. Where are they? Spine and heart. Because the uh, the ones I've got at the moment provide like the bionic upgrades, don't they? Oh, you know what I am going to do though. Hang on. No, 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 no. I want to. There you go. Was the haps. I found a sound wave file for you. There you go. Robo Scorpion and Tarantula. I want to recalibrate the. Uh... Oh. Oh, okay. And then we want to turn it to Robo Scorpion, I guess. Let's do this. Yeah, this does not look good at all. <laughs> this looks terrifying, in fact. The lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Has Dr. Mobius been denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped? Why am I so angry with them? I... Uh... I found my brain. Now you and I are going to settle things. I recommend watching your tone with me, Lobotomite. Now, your brain. Hand it over, or we'll extract it again. I'm not handing my brain over. There's some things we should discuss. And what could we possibly have to speak about? You have the brain, we have the technology. All you must do is surrender. With it, we can finally leave this place. I cannot tell you how boring this place gets, chopping up the landscape and everything in it. And we have so many questions to ask your brain first. About this... Mojave place. Oh no. Fertile testing ground for our experiments. Uh, <laughs> you think I am the lobotomite? No, for my skull house is the brain of Mobius. I can't let them leave. Maybe you should confer with your colleagues first. Yeah, I'm not letting them go out to the Mojave. Maybe you should confer with your colleagues first. Nonsense. Confer? Colleagues? Those are two words I do not recognize. Dr. Klein, I must intercept. Please, do not harm the lobotomite. I'm not going to harm it. I'm going to dissect it until it's dead. Why the sudden intersection, Dalla? I cannot stand a breathing, a sweet breathing organism, breathing in and out to suddenly not breathe. We must keep it alive for study, a slow study. Gala, these vocalized pauses are unlike you. What do you care? Fine, uh, you know, this lobotomite, it's a great sounding board. You respect ideology, right? This one's... well, it's... Are they ideas. defending me? Silence, Doctor O. This is a think tank decision. Save your objections until after I have decided our course of action. You know what, Klein? Stick a straw in your tank and suck yourself. Long and deep. They're defending and me. my name is Zero. Yeah, a big, fat Zero. With a slash through it. The slash? As a designator of... Why, that is brilliant. But how did you... The lobotomite taught me that. Taught me a name is more than... Oh my um, god, this is awesome. <laughs> that I should take pride in... Things. Like... Names. And... You know what? Forget it, Klein. I hate you! And your theory of Bringle Beam Oscillation? The Chinese had it first, you copycat! How dare you! Bringle Beam Oscillation was solely my discovery! Mm -hmm. I expressly told you that and deleted all evidence to the contrary! 
Ay. It's two eight. Why are you acting like this? You've never refused to commit necessary surgery before. And this lobotomite needs it. No, they're all on my side now, boss. I let Dala study me. I helped Zero with his name. I got a... A noble speech, but there is no room in my vocabulators for friend and lobotomite in the same sentence. The very concept! <laughs> Revolting. Perhaps you are irradiated with camaraderie radiation. We have chems for that. We can save you from your emotional addiction. If I may, I feel as if I must be the voice of reason here. This lobotomite is much like us. Regarding even animals and pets is nothing more than avenues to promote science. There is good here. Instead of ending its life on the table, we should prolong its suffering in the name of science. Like good old Gabe, the finest of lab specimens. Why am I even listening to you fools? Enough of this mutinous chorus. If there's a word I hate, it's mutiny. And the word jism, which never made any sense to me. It's ridiculous putting j and zm together like that. Nonsense! I count as five. Like the mighty human hand I once had, with its five penises clenched in a fist. Oh, sounds to me like your math is wrong, and the odds aren't good. Nonsense! The mathematics of this situation are on our side, lobotomite. I believe... No, wait. Hmm. Carry the two, and then... Hmm. If this were a democracy, I would be concerned. We are too scientific for that. So just surrender. Yeah, they all st stood up for me because I let Dala research me. I let I helped Zero with his name. I helped Eight with the voice modulator thing that he had problems with. And I'm guessing Boros, if I hadn't have killed Gabe, I might have got a bit more backup off of him. But I reckon bringing him the dog bowl was one of the things that helped him out. It's not a democracy, Democracy, it's a research facility, and over half your colleagues dispute your findings. You dare use logic against me? I do. Here's the deal. I'm not going to surrender. You are. That's no deal at all. There's a whole world beyond the crater, filled with ideas and possibilities. We could have escaped... Seen it all for ourselves, tested it, frowned at it, made it squirm. The Mojave might be a terrible place, but it's it's our terrible place, Klein. You can't have nothing. I can bring the Mojave this world to you. You'll be safe, and you'll be still be able to experiment. You can still do that here quietly for me. For you, and for science. I have a strange sensation that I would like that. How odd. Very well, partner. The think tank is at your service as long as you do not destroy us. Is that it? Did I win? Leave the think tank. Okay. I didn't have to kill him, which is a bit of a shame for my Tommy gun. But that's fine. Leave the think tank. As it had been in the years <gasps> before the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The courier watched over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discoveries safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always oh. been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The courier had scoured much of the Big Empty, although secrets still remained in the crater's depths. 
Perhaps that was for the best, however. Curiosity, while sometimes rewarded for its efforts, often proves to be equally dangerous. The Forbidden Zone continued to be, true to its name, forbidden. No more Robo-Scorpions were sighted in its canyons. Big Mountain became even emptier, devoid of Dr. Mobius's proclamations forecasting the destruction of anything that dared possess sentience. Still, it is said he lived on in the equations inscribed on the floor and walls of the Forbidden Zone Dome. A cobweb tracery of symbols that told of a thousand brilliant thoughts, now lost to time. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The SYNC Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The Biological Research Station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden, so that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped in fact mm. before the war. The book shoot continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paperclip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese <laughs> paperclip, and the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. The sink continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the magnetohydraulics plant and nearly flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. Once it learned of the innovative toxins plant, however, it gained new purpose. It sought to develop antitoxins to flush into its drains and counteract the poisons bleeding into the soil. The toaster mm -hmm. continued its psychotic spree. Reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sink personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. Muggy did his best to collect coffee cups, although in his quest, he accidentally trapped himself in Hague's village. It might have been the end for poor Muggy. Except he found it peaceful there, tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O, who was an asshole for having created Muggy <laughs> in the first place. Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there in blind revenge for serving Dr. O. Blind O. Jefferson, with sounds the courier brought him, created a symphonic counter-frequency that saved Big Mountain from sonic invasion in 2910. If you didn't hear about it, Good. It was rumored by the other personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Although he forgot their names once too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. Autodoc, always gentle and methodical, kept sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The Autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre were bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. 
In time, the Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses. Releasing the corpses, they had oh. held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was, or even what a high school was. This confused them for a time, until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. So it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression rather than communist propaganda. The infiltration program in X-13 felt spent, having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more. It felt warm, fulfilled, and a bit sluggish. It realized not long after, the stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the nightstand. Oh. So the infiltration program sent out robo-brains into the wastes, looking for its wayward technology. It eventually found Repcon HQ and set up a new research center, testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. Oh, those fiends. Oh, the cybernetic canine. Oh, Roxy, that is until her I'm in heat programming circumvented her stay routine and she lopped into the Mojave. She could leave the X8. There she ran across Rex, who had been following the courier just as she had. They barked for a while and realised they had a lot in common. This is awesome. The two of them constructed a litter of cyber pups, a small army of Boston terrifiers that gnawed and devoured anything in their path. The courier, That's awesome. The intact, continued onwards, a little less heavy of step, but with all the organs in the right places, as they should be. After all, brains can develop a life of their own when left to their own thoughts. And the courier's brain was more clever than most. Dr. Can't say courier though, can you? Tape remained alive, unaware of the world outside. They looped through their daily routines, none the wiser about the world beyond. Although perhaps wiser was the wrong word. The world outside belonged to the courier. And if anyone would shape it, well, the courier had already called dibs. There is an expression in the wasteland, old world blues. It refers to those so obsessed with the past, they can't see the present, much less the future, for what it is. They stare into the what was, eyes like pilot lights, guttering and spent as the realities of their world continue on around them. Science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. In the times following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil. Technology unchecked as the source of all ills. All misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, science became a beacon for the future. There was old world blues. And new world hope. And hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more. But the stories in the big empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the transportal ponder, the courier could return to the dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the big empty one by one. The sink sat vigilant, waiting for its master to return, shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained, and it was one the courier had to walk alone. Oh, is he talking about Lonesome Road? Ah! <laughs> You've lost the brainless perk. You've gained the big brain perk. Big brain, your brain is back in your body, but some of the advanced technologies remain. Your head still cannot be crippled, but you are only 10% more resistant to chem addiction now. Surprisingly, your damage threshold has improved by 10%. Ugh. Excellent. You've acquired the big mountain transport ponder. 
It's capable of transporting you and you alone between the Mojave Wasteland and Big MT. To return to the Mojave or to go back to the Big MT from the Mojave, simply equip the transport will ponder as you would any weapon, pull the trigger and you'll and away you'll go. Note that it won't work in interiors or in combat situations and is totally incapable of harming your enemies. Uh. <laughs> 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 Everyone seems pretty happy that I've done my job then. Excellent. Well guys, on this uh on this wave of insanity that I am now surrounded by, I am going to wish you all the best and catch you on the next episode where we will be back in the Mojave wasteland. I cannot wait. I will see you then. Take it easy. All the best. Bye-bye.